All right, thank you for joining me today on this episode of Adventures in CNC. Today we're going to be talking about these machines right here. Are they even worth it? Last video we talked about all the problems that they can have from just coming with faulty parts and faulty motors to just having their XYZ access being slightly off to being extremely difficult to set up for some people. I totally get that. I had problems setting mine up. But the real question is, is are they worth it? And so when you take and you compare a desktop style machine like this to some other better brands, Shipoko, uh, things like that. This seems like a great value. Uh, those things are anywhere from four to five times the price of one of these for a similarly sized machine. So when you, you look at it from that perspective, yeah, the, the five to $600 that you spend on one of these machines seems like a great value. But when you take and you look at $600, we'll say, um, what's that going to get you for tool? Um, if you're needing to upgrade your shop uh, or if you're just getting into woodwork, this might not be that all-in-one machine that you're looking for. That 600 bucks, for example, uh, on Craigslist, you're gonna be able to get a table saw, a drill press, and and probably a bandsaw and maybe even some other power tools for that money right now. You can hand sand, buy a router, build a router table, and you're set and ready to go. You've got everything you need. Pretty close to a full shop. Um, if you're buying new tools, you'll be able to get like a chop saw or a circular saw, a small drill press, router, router table, all that stuff. You're set and ready to go either way you go if that's the direction that you want to go in. But a CNC, uh, is it worthwhile for one of these machines if you're wanting to upgrade your shop? Uh, 600 bucks is a lot of money and I also recommend having uh, good software that you buy uh, and not just stick to using the free software. Uh, I tried to use the free software for a while, um, matter of fact almost a year, and I got zero done with the free software. Uh, all I did was just waste my time, um, waste a lot of boards, a lot of material, stuff like that. So some of that free software can be a real waste of time. I upgraded the Vetrix and I instantly started making stuff. Uh, I instantly started upgrading stuff around my shop. Uh, so Vetrix is a really, really great piece of software. I use their Cut 2D Desktop Edition and it's a great piece of software. I highly recommend it. It's easy to use, really gets you going. So as far as it goes for being a good value, uh, it just depends on what you're comparing it and what you want to do with your money. Uh, if you want to go out and buy a big screen TV or a new gaming console or a higher power graphics card for your computer and waste your time watching TV and playing video games, then, then that's great. Uh, if you actually want to do stuff and make things, then maybe this is the way to go. Would you rather have this do precision work for you and then you can concentrate on those money-making projects while this is making upgrades for your shop? Uh, you can make dust collection gates, all kinds of stuff with this thing. Uh, you can make a router lift. You can make jigs for your table saw. You can make jigs for your drill press, tool holders, all kinds of stuff. We're going to be doing some of those projects here real soon. Um, so are they a value for your money? Maybe, maybe not. Um, if I had to do it all over again, I think maybe I would save up and buy a better machine. Um, I'd definitely for sure buy a bigger machine, but there's nothing wrong with this. With the upgraded motor and some of the things I'm gonna be doing to it real soon, uh, this thing's gonna be ready to go. Another option is building your own CNC. That is kind of pricey though. Maybe in the long run, you'll save a little bit of money because you're gonna get a much bigger machine that's gonna be able to do everything you want. One of these guys, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Uh, I just think I would have gone with a, a bigger machine, maybe done a little bit more research into what I needed because I, I just kind of looked around and, and thought that this would be big enough. Uh, I knew that the table size was big enough for a lot of the projects uh, and I knew that the actual router travel wasn't going to be large enough for everything I wanted to do, but it got a lot of the stuff done that I wanted to do. Uh, this can really crank out some of my larger projects that I do uh, in no time at all. I still have to hand cut stuff, hand edge, hand plane. Well, I don't have to hand plane, but uh, I have to use a jointer and a planer to get that stuff done. Um, so a router isn't always going to be your one stop, or not a router, but a CNC isn't going to always be your one stop shop for uh, everything you need to do on a project. So you are gonna have to have other tools, so that's something to think about too. How much money are you willing to invest in it? Uh, how much money do you have to invest in it? Um, do you wanna buy a better quality machine from somebody else? Just a lot of different questions that you have to ask. Are they worth it? I think these are worth it. I had the money to spend, and with the new router motor, no regrets. With the new software, no regrets.
but all in all, I probably spent close to $1,200 on this machine. That's a little pricey. That's with software, with the motor upgrade, all that. Uh, but I'm going to be making some other upgrades here real soon on it. So only time will tell if it's worth it. I bought this machine in 2019. It's 2022. Uh, I spent three years just trying to get it to work right, only to find out that it had a faulty motor. The day I switched out the motor, I knocked out a couple of projects. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. If you like content like this, please feel free to like and subscribe, and please leave a comment below. Thank you for your time, and have a wonderful day.